For students, engagement with the course material begins before even the first week of the course. Students are introduced not only to myself as a professor and my professional background, but to the methodology of the course and to the logistics of the course. This breakdown then carries on to a week-by-week -week basis in which students are able to engage with and are introduced to the course material, not only the, the objectives of that week, but the readings, the assignments and activities that we'll be doing, as well as supplemental course material. But the main method in which students engage and collaborate and interact is through the class discussions section of the course. Here, students share their work and learn that writing is not only a personal act in which they need to engage with topics and, and express their opinions and value those opinions, but also that it's a public act, one in which have, they have, it has particular purposes and particular rhetorical significance. Here in Alima Posting 1, they are asked to read an essay by Michael Pollan on food production, to analyze an advertisement considering the messages that that advertisement sends about food in American culture, and then consider both in order to reflect on the cultural values and ideas associated between American culture and food. In addition, students are also able to share their writing processes, beginning with the choice of the subject, all the way through to their working outline. And in this way, students are able to learn and collaborate with each other in a very low risk setting. In any course, communication is key, and with this course, there are various means for communication to occur. Communication between myself and the students begins with the bi-weekly announcements that are posted as well as distributed via email. Beginning at the start of the week, typically on a Monday, I provide students with an overview of the work that's going to be due, tips and guides for the various assignments that we'll be having, as well as other notes that I think will be useful for the students moving into the work for that week. I also provide an end-of-week announcement that provides additional uh, concerns that may have been raised both by students as well as that I have noticed uh, through the grading process as well as reminders. And oftentimes, especially during the, uh, when they have an essay due, I'll also po post notes and uh, additional resources to help them move through the process. Students can communicate with each other using the discussion and private messages section of the course. They can ask questions generally to the class. They can respond to each other in the student lounge, as well as they can respond to each other's work in the class discussion section. They also have an option to respond directly to me in the private messages section there. They can also communicate with each other and with me using the mail tool and the chat room tool. When it comes to my responses to student work, I do respond to students using the gradebook tool through comments and notes on the various assignments, but also, especially with larger assignments, through the assignments tool. And if we take a look at, for example, the first draft of Essay 2, students receive both in-depth summary comments about some of the major issues and concerns that I, I noticed about uh, their draft and that they need to revise in order to be to have a, an, an effective draft as well as line by line comments that are you done using the word review tool they are uploaded provided to the student and with a summary notes as well as the line by line comments are able to be successful in their essay writing For students, scaffolding and structure is built directly into the organization and into the foundation of the course. And of course, the foundation of uh, the course is the course website. And again, here we have the week by week breakdown. But as we begin a new section, such as the section moving from essay one to chapter two, uh, there's various discussions in terms of the ways in which students, the, the previous essay was based on identity and, and what impacts identity, and specifically how community can impact that identity. So we move from that section into a direct discussion of community and what community community means and students are asked to respond to that idea of what does a community mean to you after watching uh, two videos of, of various um, groups responding to that question. And then moving through to uh, the main topic of the course and the main topic of the essay. 
uh, which is on issues that affect community and, and affect individual sense of self-actualization and identity, in this case dealing with a controversial issue of genetic modification of Kahlo. Uh, the directions that are provided allow students to get comfortable with the research process by looking into supplemental readings that are required for the assignments, then digging deeper by looking into outside resources, as well as some sources, uh, resources that are provided, uh, via myself, and then actually going into and seeing these discussions and issues being discussed and debated in current times, and here are these two hyperlinks linked to a debate between UH researchers and cultural activists on the issue of uh, Kahlo and the genetic modification of that important cultural resource and family member. And what this does is it emphasizes the connection between the work that students are reading, the work that they are producing, and the larger academic community, allowing students to value their own opinions and their own writing. Students are made aware of what will be required of them as well as what will be expected of them from the start of the course. Before the first week of the course even begins, students are asked to review several important resources in order to get familiar with what will be required of them. The syllabus provides a breakdown of the coursework as well as the course focus. The general guidelines for Lalium posting and reading assignments uh, provides guidelines for their more active reading assignments as well as informal Lalima postings. Um, and the critical writing rhetoric General Essay Mechanics and Introduction to MLA provides an introduction to academic writing so that regardless of background, whether students have been in the classroom uh, consistently over the last few years or haven't been to class in 10 years, uh, they can be successful even from the start. In addition, I compose and upload my own collection of resources so that students have a library of success tools for them to use. Here if we take a look at the SA1 resources section we have not only have an SA1 rubric but also samples for students to access to see other student samples of work that's been produced, ways in which that they can outline their essays as well as tools and guides for them to help revise their essay and also an overview of the explanatory essay as well, in addition to some of the other resources that we've talked about, including the course website and the announcements sections. In addition, students are also required for Essay 2 and Essay 3 to submit their work to BrainFuse in order to receive feedback not only from myself and from other students, but also from writers who are in the field and in that way they're able to be successful in their own writing and revise their essays in a way that will allow them to compose the most effective draft of their work. When it comes to learner support, it's not just about the content that the students have access to, it's also about effective organization of that content and ease of access for the students. And again, over the course of this presentation, we've taken a look at the course website, the announcements section, as well as the discussion and private me messages section, and the organization of the resources that are broken down not only by uh, essay resource, but we do have PowerPoints available for the students, additional supplemental readings for them to access, and uh, general course materials, such as uh, evaluation materials for them to research. Breakdown and introduction to academic writing, course schedule that's also broken down in more detail in the course website, and other resources that are available. But one of the main ways that I try to facilitate access and ease of access as well as organization is actually into the organization of the La Lima site. Um, because students have to be able to kind of readily access, I feel there needs to be a logic and theory behind the organization of the various pages that the students are provided. So uh, following the logic that the course website is the foundation, we then build on that foundation with the announcement section uh, where I provide, again, a detailed breakdown of the course material, building on the information that's provided in the course website. Students then work on assignments uh, that, is then built, that is built on the course website, an introduction to that course material.
and then moving from more of the, or the reading assignments and informal Laolima postings to the assignment section where they work on a more formal assignments such as re, uh, more formal reading assignments, drafts, the annotated bibliography, as well as the final drafts. Then the resources section where the, if they need to seek help, that help is provided very uh, through the various resources that are available to them. If they need to contact myself or the students, they have access to that mail tool and to the chat room. So again, going from the logic of the building of the course all the way through to the help, and then to really that final resource which they should be accessing, which is the gradebook, which is uh, updated regularly for the students. And in that way, again, not only do they have a clear sense of organization in the various tools that are provided, but also the way that that information is organized is clear.